Hello devs, welcome to this demo where I'll showcase the power of OpenV Workspace and its support for custom copilots and agents. So in uh, previous videos and events, we've explored a lot how to bring your own data with custom APIs and custom backends. However, the concept of custom copilots hasn't been covered that much and this is what I would like to fill in. So custom copilots and agents connect to OpenBB via backends, APIs, and they utilize a technology called server sent events to provide real-time feedback through the UI. To add one, you would need to click on the OpenBB Copilot dropdown. Here you'll see the Add Copilot button. This is where copilots and agents are added. So during the holiday I had in October, I've created this uh, agentic app called uh, the Asset Basket Allocator. It optimizes a basket of assets, given a list of tickers and some parameters, and the total investment amount. The tech stack of this app should be pretty familiar for people who code in Python, so it uses FastAPI with the Starlet SSC for the API framework and the server-side events. I'm using OpenPB platform Python library for data access, then I'm using PyPortfolio opt for taking the implementation of the optimization algos, of course, Pydentic for data validation. I'm using Magentic for interacting with LLMs, and if you're still sticking to Langchain, I highly recommend you check out Magentic. And of course, I'm using Using OpenBB Workspace as the UI layer. So let me add my copilot. I'm going to say add copilot. Right now it's deployed locally, so I'm using localhost, but I plan to deploy it in the wild, so I already added authentication. So uh, I would need to add uh, the authentication how I add it. Currently, the value for my API key is not that secure, but I'm going to change it when I'm going to be deploying it. So I click create. And now there I have my allocator bot. Now, the first thing I'm going to say, I'm just going to say like, hello. But reply, it's alive. Okay, what can you do? So it does some portfolio optimization, which is great. And generate allocation reports. Great. Let's try to do something blunt. Let's go for Apple, Google, Tesla. It's like not that interesting. So the cool thing about the server sent events is that we can give feedback to the user through these pop-ups. And there was an error related to calculating the portfolio or doing the simulation. And it's because the default parameters that I have not provided, they feature a target volatility that is not adequate for 2024. So it immediately suggested that I review the target volatility. So I'm going to say, okay, okay, target volatility at 30%. Let's make a portfolio. Okay, so now I have this uh, table, which I can immediately make into a widget table. And it has multiple risk models, the three tickers, and some weights, and the quantities based on the latest prices. But here's the more interesting thing. Now, I've added a widget to this allocator bot app. And right now, I'm going to add this widget to the dashboard. Say, add data. I'm going to go into custom backends, and it's going to be my allocator bot backend. I'm going to provide the same URL and the same indication that I use for my copilot test, add. So I have the data and I have the asset basket allocation widget from the allocator bot backend available on my dashboard. You see there is this allocation ID. I'm going to take this allocation ID and I'm going to load just this one and I'm going to select a specific risk model to do the filtering. And now I'd like to visualize it actually. So I'm going to switch to chart view and I want to make donut chart out of it. I like donut charts and a little bit of setup so that it shows me the ticker. I close the settings. So cool. And I can switch between different risk models that were computed. This is fairly interesting already, but let me try to do something a little bit more complex. So I'm going to get information about some ETF holdings. And I'm fine with uh, using uh, SPY as my uh, benchmark today. So I'm going to take them, I'm going to sort them by weight, and I'm going to take, you know, like some of them. And uh, let me start a new chat with the allocator bot. And uh, let's do something. Let us do this. Tickers total investment is 
100,000. Risk free rate is 7%. Target volatility is 30%. Five year holding period. Let's go. It might find some errors. And if it finds some errors, then we'll see them. Okay, so there is an error that in this list, there is a symbol for Ber Berkshire Hathaway that a different convention is used. And it actually proposes me to use a different convention. So it can identify errors and actually propose me how to fix them. It actually can fix it themselves. I'm going to just say do it. Great, so now we have the portfolio. We have some report on the allocations and clearly we have the ID that I can immediately use here. This is for the efficient risk. For minimum volatility, we have a different allocation. For max Sharpie, we have a different allocation. And efficient return, there's, there's another one. Clearly, this is a rather simple example of an agent doing its agent things. But the purpose here is to illustrate the potential. So the code for this uh, asset allocator bot is open source so that you can use it as an example. And uh, thank you very much for watching.